were holding um, eight lines from the bottom. Uragolim. Gavit Uragolim. The Mishnah tells us that that uh, Nisan is Rosh Hashanah Uragolim. So Rosh Hashanah, let's say Tishrei, Rosh Rosh Chodesh Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah. But you realize the beginning of Nisan is not Pesach. Pesach is 15 days into, into Nisan. So that's going to be, of course, it says that Nisan is Rosh Hashanah the Regoni. It's not Rosh Hashanah the Regoni. It's 15 days into Nisan. So what does it mean, Regoni? So tomorrow it's Regoni, Bechom in Nisan, Bechom in Nisan, in Nisan. Yeah, the Regoni is the first day of Nisan, the 15th day of Nisan. So what does the mission say? It's Rosh Hashanah the Regoni. Om Rav Chizda, Regel Shebo Rosh Hashanah the Regoni. Right? It means that during this month, that's when the regal actually comes about. What's the Naftimino? In what regard? What would be the regal? It's Rosh Hashanah regarding what? It's the beginning. We see this as the beginning. The beginning of what? Right? It's, it's irrelevant. We know, what, we know exactly what Pesach is because it says there were Pesach is it. So what does it mean? It's Rosh Hashanah. It's the beginning regarding regarding Naftimino lenoder lemekam alei baltacher. The Torah says that a person makes a nether and he delays he does not bring it and he allows three regalim to pass that means he's delayed fulfilling his nether he's a violation of Allah so negative commandment now when these stuff count what about he made the nether before Shurs and he lets three regalim pass does it have to begin in Nisan or any any three regalim no regarding Baal it has to it has to be Three were going past, Nisan being the first. So let's say a person would make the letter before Shuas. He has to have five past to be a violation. Right? Because he have to have three Pesach Shuas Sukkis. So if he, made the, if he made first obligate himself with the, with the letter after Pesach, so that means Pesach is not, he hasn't passed Pesach yet. And how do we know Pesach has to be the first? Right? Then you have to have an additional three to follow. Okay, there's going to be an argument. Does that have to be Kisidra or Nibishlo Kisidra? You understand what I'm saying? It has to be in that specific consecutive order. So let's say... We'll see in a minute. It says, And the mission is going like Reb Shimon. Okay? So take a look at Rashi. Regal Shmo Rosh Hashanah Lurubal. Regal who? The Chodesh had Nichnas Be'echod Benison. Meaning, it's the Regal which you find in, which begins with the first of Nisan. Rosh Hashanah Lurugog Napkimina Dai Rosh Hashanah Liyin Neder. Take a look in Rashi. What does it mean Neder? Shu Muzar Babal Tacher. Meaning that if you make a Neder and you allow three Rugolim to pass, you're in violation of Babal Tacher. We're told across the Yichuro Shloshi Rugolim. And when are you in violation? You have to pass three Rugolim. Vashminim Asdis Shishin Over Achi Pesach Rishon Lishloshtan. The only time you're in violation, if Pesach has to be the first of the three. Shem Ovu Alav Shlokisidrin in Over. If you didn't violate in this particular order. Let's say, as I said, three regalim, shuis, sukis, Pesach. You're not in violation. It has to be Pesach, shuis, sukis. It has to be specifically in that order. And it's going like Reb Shimon, the Tanya, learning the Braiso. Echad no there. We'll see that no there. Let's say a person says, I consecrate my value to English. What does that mean? The person has, has a value, a monetary value, be sold as a slave on the slave market. Person has a certain value. He says, whatever that value is, I'm consecrating. That's a netter. If he allows three regalim to pass, he's in violation of Al Tahir. Regarding Hegdish. Right? Now, 
What about a person who says, Erki Olai? There's an innate value, not based on what you're worth on the slave block, versus between a certain age, between 20 and 60. You have an innate value. And that's, that's evaluated by the Torah. And he says, Erki Olai, my innate value, I accept upon myself. So you have to give to a base of Middush, whatever that value is. 50 shkolim, you allow three regalim to pass, you don't bring it to the base of Middush, you violated the lane bringing which was supposed to be into the base of Middush. without sequence or anything. No, 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 same thing. There's a whole Baltar here. We're talking the same thing. Echra Nodev, Echra Magdush, Echra Marich. You consecrate a korban or you consecrate a table for Bereka Bayus. As in this table should be consecrated. You have three regalim to bring it to the base of Middush. What one of your violation, if with the obligation began before Pesach. So you have Pesach Shua Sukkis. So when you violate, if your sukkah passes and you still did not bring that obligation, you're in violation of Al-Tachim. Kevot she'ovro le'gimu regolim, if you allow three regolim to pass, of al So the Tanakhama says, if you allow three regolim to pass, you're in violation of Al-Tachim. Shimon Omer, gimu regolim kisidro, not four, three. Three regolim, three regolim in that sequential order, v'chagamatzos chilo. And when does it start? It starts with Pesach. Pesach, Shua, Sukkis. So if you, you have three regalim, Shua, Sukkis, Pesach, you're not in violation of Al-Tachir. Cheno Yerub Shemin Amei Choy Yomei. Regalim, sometimes to be in violation of Al-Tachir, Pomim Gimel, Pomim Dal, Pomim Chomish. Sometimes to be in violation of Al-Tachir, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. Ketzat, what it was. Noda Lefnei Pesach Gimel. Right? Because that's Kisidro. Lefnei atzeres chamisho. You have to have five regal in pes. Lefnei hacha garbo. If he makes the netter before sukkahs, he'll only be in violation. He has to have three, four regal in pes. Because he has to have kisidron. So Rashi says, what's magdish? Magdish, double the better kabais. That's the second one, better kabais. But a person who's magdish, a korban. I say, this, this animal should be a shlomo. You have three regalim to bring to the base of Mikdash. If you don't, <coughs> and you allow three regalim to pass, you're in violation of Al-Tachir. What's Marich? She'omar erki olay she'erich kotsu batorik fishonu. Pam shloshe pom yushu v'al-Tachir, shloshe pom yim v'chamisha v'in yusidro. Okay. Further. Tanu Rabbonu. Chayvei hadomin. Right person is here because he says, the main olay, my value, I obligate myself to give to the base of Mikdash. What's value? As a slave. The value of a slave. Ha erchin, ha charomi. Right? Cherim says this should be cherim. Cherim gavoh. It means it should be designated for Hashem. Hegdeshos. Hegdeshos evidently clearly means better kabayus. Meaning, it's the object, purely a monetary consecration. Because the Hebrew says chatos, hashomos, olo, shlovim. A chatos, you have three regal to bring it. Oshom, olo, shlovim. What about stokos? Stoko. Person says, I need so much money to stock. It's stock unrelated to English. You allow through your goal to pass, you're in violation of al Okay? Masros. Miser. Yeah? This Miser is what we'll see now. Misers u Yeah? Masros, then Bechor u Maser. Masros is the, the grain. And what about the Bechor Maser? Right? The Bechor firstborn. It's, it's a Korban. It's a Shlomim. And Maser also is a Shlomi. You tithe your herd, your flock. U Pesach. Of course, I had to get Pesach. I had to get Pesach. I had to get Pesach. Right? We only have one regal. Right? When did the person consecrate his Pesach? Right? It says Pesach. Pesach here by a nation of Pesach. You said we'll have to say. Leke Chichu Peyo. So still, it's not through your golem. You don't have three. No, how could you be invited? Once, once, once it's, you pass it, it's gone. You can't bring a pestle anymore. And you can pass pestle Shani a month later. So how you, you don't have, really have three to go. By the time pass the, the second pestle Shani passes, it's over. Over his mano bottle carbono. The answer is because Pesach could be brought to Shlomo. What happens if you, you designate a pestle and for whatever reason it goes lost and then you find it after Pesach? You brought another Pesach. What, what is it? So the Pesach is a Shlomo. The question whether you have to say specifically what the Shlomo or it naturally becomes a Shlomo. Right? Okay. 
Leket Chikhu Peyo. Leaving Leket, you've forgotten, you dropped in the field. Chikho, you forgot to Peyo. You left the corner of your field. Kevach over Aleim Shlosh Golim over Baltachet. Regarding every one of these issues. Stoker. Person makes a pledge with Edin Zebulim Neder. Abigam says, Get Stoker. He lets three Regolim pass. Isidore Rice is in violation of Baltachet. Right? Los Achen Nidro. Shimon Omeh Shlosh Regolim Kisidro. Shimon says, When you're in violation of Baltachet, they have to be Kisidro. Meaning beginning with Pesach, Shua Sukis. And which is the first of the Kisidron? Chagamatsus Tchila starts with Pesach. Remei Robech Keva Chover Ale Regalechor U Baltache. Baltache in violation of Sacha, the Shalma means even letting one regal. You're supposed to bring a, a, a Shlomim, and you have the opportunity to bring it. Regal passes your violation, even one regal. That's a Remei. Morris, I'm going to get into the Psuki. Rebbe Lezeb and Yaakov, we came to overlay him Shnei Regolim O Baltache. Two regolim. You don't need three. Reb Lozim, Reb Shimon, Omer. So what do we have? We have Reb Meir, Reb Lozim, and Yaakov. Now Reb Lozim, Reb Shimon says, came to Avalei and Chag Asukos, over there in Baltacher. Okay. My time of the Tanakama. Tanakama says, three regolim pass you in violation of Baltacher. Right? He doesn't say Kisidron. Reb Shimon is the one who says it has to be Kisidron. And it starts with Chag Amatsos. Was in my time, time. Mirti, Minayu Solik. Right? Minayu Solik, he says, Kishomer, I call the Sholishbam, Bashoni, you're called Sukhurcho. It says three times the Chag Amatsos, Mema Yoila, Kvar, Kvar Kosuv, Lamala, Binin, Shomer, Schodish Ovi, Shiva Shwus, Tispolo, Chag Asukas, Tasselo. Right? So, so why does I have to mention again Chag Asukos? Sukkot is the third, right? It says you should count seven that, right? And which is Shuas, seven weeks you count, right? Shuas. Then it says Chag Sukkot Tasseluk. It already mentioned the three regalim first in the pasuk. Then it says you should count seven weeks towards Shuas. Then it says you should do Chag Sukkot Tasseluk. Lomeli Meder Limninu B'Chag Suk Parshas Sukkot Shmami No Doch. Shmami no l'bal tachet. Dochi, come reading Rashi. Dochi, ho yinir l'fono v'lishalim nidrechem. You had three regolim that you could have fulfilled your netter. V'lo sovo reikom. Ein tzorch lo mechag asukos. Av kishachosel l'bal tachet. L'ho yitzorch l'askiru shari inyin. Osuk bo. We're talking about sukos. Let's see inside. Gemara. That that it mentions all three tells me that you have to be to be violent about you have to pass three regolim. That's what we said previously. Loma Nemar. Loma Nemar, Loma Shazach, that that has to be the Ach, that's the Kisidron. It ends, so therefore it has to be always the last one to be in violation. So if you make the Neder before Shuas, so Sukkot is not the last one, correct? So therefore, in that case, you have to have five to be in violation of Al Tachir. Because the last one has to be, has to be Sukkot. Because the Rip Shemot Kisidron. Remeir, my time of what does Remeir mean? Since you passed one regal, one regal, you're already in violation of the Dechsiv uvosu shoma vavesim shoma, and it says lo sachel shalmo. You should come there and bring it there, and it says lo sachel shalmo. When you bring it, you shouldn't delay bringing it. So that's even one regal. Rabona hu He says uvosu shom. When it says you should come there, that's a mitzvah essay. Lo sachel shalmo. That's going back on the three you're going. Right, that's the Chachomim. Rebbeah came to Amalei Rachmona. I see, below I see. Since there is bring and you did not, Memei lo Kamalei Baltacher, because it says you should bring it. Of also Shem Veveisam Shama. Then it says Lo Sach Le So what is going back when you should bring it? Don't delay what I told you to bring. So that means you're evidently you're in violation of the love if you don't do the assay. Sure, if you don't do it, you're in violation of the assay and the love. 
Rabbi Lezim and Yaakov. Rabbi Lezim and Yaakov says two regalim. You don't need three. My time it chsiv elu elu tasul Hashem b'moadeichem. So what's moadeichem? Niat modim shnayim. Right. Second. Mitzvah says it laviv regel rebeir amaloch kem dom rachmona aisim regel rishon zeu. Okay, further. Rabbonon, the Chachomim say, excuse me, so what did Rabbonon do? The Rabbonon say three regolim, right? So what did they do? Moadechem, Elo Tasel, Hashem, Moadechem, right? Ahu, Rab Yonah, the Om Rab Yonah, Hukshu Kola Moadim, Kulam Zelusef. That all the Moadim, we, we attach one to another. What is that? They're all the Korban Yitzibur of the Moadim, right? They're Mechaper of Tumas Mikdash Kadoshev. If you wanted to base a Mikdash, inadvertently, not knowing, right? Rebbe Lezim Reb Shimin, my time of. Rebbe Lezim Reb Shimin, who says, when you're in violation, it says, Chayven Yishol Lechag Asuk, it's even Shalom Gesidron, you're in violation. The time of Rebbe Lezim Reb Shimin, Lo Yomar Chag Asukis. I mean, that's the cause. Right? Which means, when you reach there, then you're in violation. So, that, that, so what is that? Seemingly, Rabbi Lozer Shimon holds, that's Kisidra. So Rabbi Lozer holds like his father. Right? They asked, so what does Torah have to mention all three? Right? What do they do with it? The boy lech the Rebbe Lozer the Omer Reboshia they they use it for Rebbe Lozer Reboshia says the Omer Rebbe Lozer Omer Reboshia it's terrific. Me nine lat seres now shuas on the Torah levels how many days one day right now on Yom Tov you have an avlish bring the chagiga what happens if you don't bring the chagiga on shuas you say of his man about the korbano you can only bring a festival offering on a festival so shuas is one day how many days could you bring it one sukkahs seven days maybe eight. With, with Shmigat Seris. Pesach is seven. So you don't bring the first day, you bring the second till Yom Tov is over. But Shuas, what would I say? Even once you miss the day, it's over. Mm. But the Torah says, no, Shuas is no different than what? Than the others. How do we know Shuas? You're able to have a makeup, the days which follow. Although they're not Yom Tov, you're able to bring the Chagigo. Makish Chagashuas Lechaga Matzos. So now, look, that's interesting. It's sandwiched between the two of them. We're, we're, we're associating Shuas with Matzos. Ma Chaga Matzos Yesh Lo Tashlumim Kol Shiva. A Chaga Shuas Yesh Lo Tashlum Kol Shiva. You don't bring the first day, you have, some, you have another six days. It's a matter of question, but if it's sandwiched between the two of them, we're able to have another day. Lekish Lechaga Sukos. Why are you attaching it, associating it with, with Matzos, with Chaga Matzos, associated with Chaga Sukos? Right? You see, is that? No. Right? We'll see in a moment. It's, a, it's an acronym. Let's say, even though it's, it's we see a separate regal in a certain context. But in terms of Tashlumim, if you missed it the first day, we don't say Hoshana Rabba is the last day. You can even bring in Hoshmini Atzeres. So you see there's a linkage. Even the eighth day is linked to the first seven. So, so why are you learning from, Su- from Sukkis? From Pesach, you only have seven days. Let's learn Shuas from Sukkis. You should have eight days to be able to make it up. If you don't bring it on the first day, you have the subsequent seven days. If not... No, what have you no, Shemin says no separate No. So Maris did not. Mishlo Chagro Marishin Shel Chag Chogi Kol Aregel Kulo Kol Aregel V'Yomachri Shel Chag. So even on Shemin Atzeres, you're able to make that Tashlumi for the first day of Sukkot. So what Kash is why you're learning from Chag Amatzos? You should learn from Chag Chag Asukos. You have an extra day of Tashlumi, right? That the more says simple to fast move to low to fast to fast move to fast. Since it's unclear, 
do you go to the, do you learn more or less? We have principle that Rashi says it throughout Shas. When you say seven, it's definitely eight is a question. We have a question. Should I give it eight, seven, or eight? But seven is not a question. Definitely seven. The eighth is question. Whenever you're in a position where you can't definitively determine the extra, the terses play it safe. It's the le- it's the lesser, it's not the more. You follow me? We have a question. It says chaga matzos, chaga shuos, chaga sukos. So do I? If I associate chaga shuos with matzos, you could only it's only seven days. You could read the, the makeup card. But if I associate it with sukos. It's eight. But every... You could count Shemini Atzeros, because that's the Aloha. By, by Sukkot, you missed the first day, you can bring it through Shemini Atzeros. But it's unclear. So w- what direction I go? So we, we, so we say, but why? It's based on principle. Seven, nobody would argue. You could bring seven. That's, that's, you're in safe territory. Seven. I have a question, but do I identify with, with, with Sukkot, which is eight? That's, you can't confirm that. So it says, when you can't confirm it, you have something that covers that it's all inclusive. Seven is all inclusive. Eight is a question. Maybe that's beyond. That's already beyond the, the time period. Okay? So that's the fast group, although the fast fast group to rest. So now the question is: So now, if we're associating chag hashvus with chag amatzos, right? According to Reb Meir, and according to Reb Losi Reb Shimon, right? No, no, no. What does that to write? Chag asukos. If tefastim ruba lo tefasta, tefastim u tefasta, so sukkis is totally superfluous. Is that chag amatz chag ashuos? So what do we learn from chag asukos? Right, we're learning nothing from chag asukos. No, no, no. Go to the mayor. The mayor holds one regal is enough, or according he said from Moadechem. Right. One regal is enough to be in violation of not. Baltachim. You don't need all three. And according to Reb Lezim Yaakov, he says, because it's more Adechem. Adechem means two. Two is enough. So if two is enough, what, what does that say? Three. So I need Chag HaMatzos and Chag HaShuos to tell me regarding Tashlumi. That even though Shuos is one day, you have an additional six days to make up the makeup. If you're going to bring it on Shuos. So that's I'm learning Shuos from Matzos. From Matzos. So what does that have, have, have to mention again? Chag HaSukos. Right? It's Chaga Matzos, Chaga Shuos, Chaga Sukos. Right? If it's in the makeup, makeup, I only need Chaga Matzos. Chaga Sukos, I'm learning nothing. Chaga. So, it's totally superfluous. So, what do I learn from Chaga Sukos? Talking about a mold. They both have mold. They have two makeup. Question. Why does the Torah write the, word, the, the words Chaga Sukos? If you tell me you need three of Goliath to be in violation of Al-Tachar, that's why it mentions it. Right. But if we say yeah, one is enough, but two is enough. Yes, but we're talking about the holiday itself. So if it's Shabbos, it's only one day. I need to know that there's additional days. So if I say Pesach and, and Sukkot, it's telling me I have additional days. How many additional days? So we go with seven. So why do you, why do you go with seven? Because you learn from Pesach. There's a question. If there's so which days. were you learning from? So we're going to go with Pesach. Oh, good, good. So if Torah were written Chaga Pesach, Chaga Matzos, Chaga Shuos, and end it with that. Would I know anything less than now that I write Sukkot? The word Chaga Sukkot is totally superfluous. It has no value. It's evidently but it's written for a reason. Maybe I'm sick of Sukkot itself. You could open eight days. You could say. No, but that's not what I'm learning. No, that I know that. That I know that. It's not from here. It's not from here. And we're only saying it's being repeated for Shuos. Even though Shuos is one day and the other days are ordinary days, Despite the fact you're able to bring Tashlum. Right? You're able to bring the makeup card. Although well, it's not Yom Tif anymore. What kind of what brings you to this? Let's say it's a Chagiga. It's a Chagiga. The Torah says you still can bring the Chagiga, although it's after Yom Tif. It's not Yom Tif. You can still. The festival the offering. It's not a Shlom. It's a, but you fulfill the mitzvah, bring a Chagiga. It is a Shlom. Every festival is a Shlom. But you fulfill the mitzvah of bring a Chagiga on the Yom Tif. <coughs> Even though it's not the festival, I don't. Of course, the Torah says it's like Pesach. Okay, so the Torah written Chaga Matzos Chaga Shuos ended there. I know everything. So what are the Chaga Sukos? That's the question. 
can't answer a question unless you understand the question. Okay? So, my hilso kasi rachmona chaga sukos, la kushi lchaga matzos, ma chaga matzos, ton lino, av chaga sukos ton lino. Right? Meaning, when you. What? Doesn't mean say you should pull this thing. It says stay overnight. Right? Right? Meaning that the haloch is the day that you bring a korban. But right on the uh, in Eretzel, there's only the, we have the first day yom tov. First day, you bring a chagiga. Now after the chagiga, says you know, I got to rush out of here. I already fulfilled my obligation. I brought my chagiga. I brought my olas ria. I'm out of here. No, Torah says you have to stay overnight. You can't leave before tomorrow morning. That's chiyuv lino. Okay. No, it's mentioned by Pesach. So, so that, why do I associate it with the others? That, that's, that's the what's his name? That's the hekish. A makish, all the rogalim one to another. So, so even sukkahs is, is linked. Lino, like like Pesach has to be. A Pesach, right, right. No, but Shavuos also is the same. Once I learned that Shavuos is also included. Right. This is not the night before. This night after. After you bring, your, you bring the Korban, and we learn this throughout the year. We learn this throughout the year. person brings in the Doran, a Neder, middle of the year, Shlomo. You have to stay overnight. The day they bring the Korban, you have to stay overnight. Okay? Okay? Ma'achag ha'matzus ton lino, ha'achag ha'matzus ton lino. V'hosem enolon. And how do we know by Pesach? You have to stay overnight. T'chsiv v'fo nisa ba'boker. V'lach lo lecha. When do you vacate? In the morning, then you go to the Then you return home. Remember, checkout's 12. Okay, or 2. Okay. For Nisa Baboker, the Yom Tov Lo Komakro. Right? The Pesach's not saying you're leaving in Yom Tov. Shrehu Yom Shechiyuv Ali Ros Pazoro. You have a chiv to be there. Not because he can't be Mechal Yom Tov. It's not because he can't travel. He can travel, you know. It's because you have a chiv. It says... You have a chiyuv to visit the sanctuary, yeah. right? Now that when you, the day you bring your carbon, leiros, leiros, sorry. Okay. So now we have a problem now. So now, according to the Tanakam and Rib Shimon, that we say that what that is baltachi needs three regalim. So now the question is, how do I know tashlumim? How do we need tashlumim? Sure. Because the Torah wrote it for what to teach me. Three were gone. Did you invite the Shabbat Tachir? The makeup. How do I know makeup for, for, for according to Rav Shimon and according to according to what whether he holds Kesidra or not Kesidra? Either one, right? With Tanakhaba Rav Shimon Ben Alaza Tashlum and Atzeres Menolu, right? Now after the Lumid Tony Rabbi Bar Shmuel, we learned it from what Rabbi Shmuel had said. The Tony Rabbi Bar Shmuel, Amra Torah Meneyomim. The Kadesh Chodesh. Right? You count days and then they, they sanctify the month. The Ne Yomim, the Kadesh Atzeris. Right? What does the Torah say? It says, it says, Rega Rashi. Tanakab Reb Shimon, the Darshi Leil Haikron Labal Tach, the other Reb Losab Reb Shimon, Lokasha Midi, the Yol of Baltach Michag Hasukas Luchude. Right? He says, according to Reb Lozim Shimon, it's not difficult because he learns about Tachet, it has to be the last one from Chag HaSukos. Right? Isolate Chag HaMatz Chag HaShuos, like Kesh LeTashlumim. Right? It would have been enough. The question is, why does it have to read Sukkos? The answer is, it ends with Sukkos. That's Reb Lozim Reb Shimon. Reb Lozim Reb Shimon. But according to the others, that you need all three to tell me about Tachet. So how do I know Tashlumim? Okay? But it's interesting, you know, Tosa says, yes, very often, you learn two things from the same person. And Tosa says, if you have something which we call shkulim, if two things are equally uh, indicated in the posuk, so you learn both. Because there's no, there's one, there's no basis to exclude more than the other, so they're both included. So it's the kasha. I have a hekish. We're saying now, we're makash or the regalim to what? To lina. To lina. Right? Just this pace, you have to stay over. And how do I know Shuas is what? Because what 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 what, what, what relevance does Shuas have to Pesach? The answer is Tashlumim. 
Okay? So, so it comes out, I'm learning two things. I'm learning for Nisa Baboker, not only for for, for Sukkis, but it also goes back on Shavuos. Right? So good, so says, but according to the others, how do I know Tashlubi for Shavuos? What's the problem? You have all three. They're all linked. Just as you say, the three, they're linked. But factually, it's a heckish. Simultaneously, it's a heckish. Right? So you have both of them. So what came out of both? It has no shakish. No, 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 no. Tashlumi, Tashlumi, Tashlumi for Atzeres. But then we say, according to him, according to Rebbe Loza ben Yaakov, and according to the Tanakamo, according to Rebbe Shimon Loza and Tanakamo, what do I need? How do I know Tashlumi for Atzeres? No, 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 before that, before that. Say, because Shuas is mentioned after Pesach. Right. So that's your connection. Yes. Yeah, so why is that? Why is not an answer? What? Why is? Why is that not an answer? What I'm saying is why is not an answer? There are two things. Well, ta'achir and also, of course, at the level of association, because you find Torah says something. If two things could equally be drawn out of it, you learn both. Yeah. What's called shkulim. Shkulim is they're equal. Okay. The shakul. How do we know Tashlum for Shuas? That you have six days in addition to Shuas to make up the Chagiga. Yeah, but the Bar's asking a question. Bishlom, but you say you don't need it. So good. So Chaga Matzos, Chaga Shuas tells me Tashlum. Links that have that Sukkos. Okay, once I link them all. But according to the Tanakhama that he says uses it for Baal you really need three to be in violation. Or Rabbi Lozab Rabbi Shimin, Hat Tashlum Rat Seres Oh, because he uses only three for For Baal Tachet. So why can't you learn from the... It's still a Hukash. Why, why is this false? It's, see, it's not the same. Whenever we say school and Torah writes a word, I have a draw equally two things out of the word. I'm not sure which one. If you can't make that determination, the Torah means you should draw, draw both. Learn both from the word. Here the Torah is associated, not because of the Hekish. Hekish is a way you, you, you why the Torah associate A with B and B with C. It juxtaposes it to tell me you learn one from another. Here it's being mentioned in the context of Baal Ta'achir. It's not the reason why they're associated, not because you learn one from the other. To tell you're a violation of Baal Ta'achir if you let three regolim pass. Right. So it's not because of the association. No, which means if you want, if I yes me, what do you need to be over Baal Tachir? You have to three or four case. Which one? A, B, C. It has nothing. We're not interpreting. It's, why they associate? Hekish is why did the Torah put, put A to B and B to C? The answer is to learn one from another. Why do we mention all three here? To learn from one another? No. To tell me what 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 do you need to be in violation of Baal Tachir? Has no shaykhus. Understand? Could it be that? Uh, uh, did, you, did you hear what I said before? I what you said? Tell me what I said. Though. So Listen what you said. Well, I was comparing all three. What do they have in, uh, in um, uh, relation to each other? Why are we comparing them? No. No. You're asking for baltash. How do you go over it? How do you go over it? No, no. You mean, okay, I asked the question. If the three, it says. Since they use the three to learn about Ta'acher, how do I know Tashlum for Shuas? That's the Gemara's question. So, wait a second. Okay. I mean, so that, I'm, that's the Gemara. So I'm asking, the, but factually, B is associated with A. Right. So because B is associated with A, let me learn B from A. Right. But then we have C, which is Shuas. So no, C is Sukkis. Uh, so where, where is the sequence is uh, Shavuos? In the middle. All right, so A, so how do I know that uh, B and A and B and C are equal? That's what you're asking. I'm asking, no, not how do I know? No, why shouldn't I learn B from why A? Should, right. Why should you not learn B from A? Okay. Okay? You good with algebra. A, B, C, D. I don't know. Okay. So the idea here is if Shavuos is one day, then you would be sure it's the seven days that it's safe to bring your makeup. So you have to equalize A, B, and C. That would be I don't need C to equalize it. 
Well, okay. I only need A and B. But it's only a one-day uh, holiday. So good, so that's what so A. A and on a moe in order to no. equalize. If, if, no. I play, wait, if I miss in Pesach, I have seven until the end of Pesach. If I miss in Sukkot, I have till till uh, Shemini on Saturday. No. Yeah. And what about Shuas? How many days do you have? You have seven uh, days or eight so, days? So... I'm going to compare it to... I'm to asking a question. You have seven days or eight days. If I compare it to a Pesach... We just went through days. it. Seven days. Tafasta, Merubah, Lo Tafasta. Yeah. We raised seven it. Seven days. So you learn from Pesach. That's what he's saying. But so well, that's, well, that's not... The horse is asking a question. Since we're using the three Moadim to tell the Baal Ta'acher, how do I know the makeup for Atzeres, for Shuiz? That's the worst question now, right? No, no, it's independent. Well, you wouldn't have to say more for you to have more. We already said no, no. But, uh, okay. No, you have two and a half, two days in the night. A gig is a regular show. First day, uh, second day, day. The night, and the following day till Sunday. Two, two days in the night. Okay, further. That's three Polish lines. Correct. Okay. So it says, so, so Morris says, you learn it from Rabbi Bashmuel, the Tan Rabbi Shmuel, Omer Torah, Menei Yomim, the Kadesh, Chodesh, the Kadesh, Chodesh, Menei Yom, the Kadesh, Atzeris. Right? Ma Chodesh, Menuyov, Avatzeris, Menuyov. What does this mean? It says, Mnei Yomim Shnemer at Chodesh Yomim. That post at Chodesh Yomim is in what context? At Chodesh Yomim. In Kaddish Chodesh Bekoboros, Ma Chodesh Kiddush Achem Echod Mimenuyov, Yom Rosh Chodeshu. Right? Just as it says, Mnei Yomim at Chodesh Yom, the Kaddish Chodesh Bekorbonos, you sanctify the Chodesh with Korbonos. Ma Chodesh Kiddush Echod mi menuyov. Biom rosh chodesh hu makrivon zman hukval hem echod min ayomim shu nimna al yodom. Tzeres havos kabros be echod mi menuyeho ri nimnis aide shu ayim. And it's, it's weeks. You count. Shenema sheva shu as tibim as tiyeno. Right? You're counting weeks towards shu as. As you count days towards rosh chodesh. Here you count weeks towards the Chag. Right? Menei Yomim v'Kadesh Chodesh Menei Yomim v'Kadesh Atzeres Ma Chodesh Minuyov Av Atzeres Minuyov So it's in the context the Torah says A Chodesh, you count days to the Chodesh And how does the Torah say you count towards Shavuos? Weeks Shiva Shavuos Tizvalov Seven weeks So you look at Shavuos within the context of weeks The Torah says Eim Atzeres Chad Yomo what does one thing have to do with another? But factually, after everything said and done, it's true. You count and you arrive at Shuas after seven, seven weeks. Well, but Shuas itself was one day. It's not part of the week. Right? If you say by the month, Rosh Chodesh is part of the month. Shuas is not part of the ship of Shuas Tisbolo. It's Yom Chamishim, right? Seven Weeks you should count, and the fiftieth is Shuas. So it's not comparable to Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh is one of the days within the month. Within the month, one of the days is Rosh Chodesh. That's where you bring the karma. Here, it's not within the context of a week you bring the karma. It's the fiftieth. It's after the weeks. So how do we know? So we're back to square one. So how do we know this Tashlumim? Can so we see Shuas as, as seven days? We see it as one day. Omar Rova Otto Atzeres Yomi Maninon Shui Lo Maninon. He says regarding Shuas that we count days and we don't count weeks. But Bamar Mitzvah Limini Yomi Mitzvah Limini Shui. There's a Mitzvah to count days and there's a Mitzvah to count weeks. Therefore, how does he answer that? No, that's Gemara Menachos. It's Gemara Menachos. Right? There's a Mitzvah we say Hayom. Let's say we should count today's a. Four weeks in the only. So we say the days, 28 days, which is four weeks. Right? That's today's, today's, today's sphere. 
the Nitzel Mid Yomi, the first count days, don't count weeks. So what does that do with this? But how does that answer the question? The question was, but the days, right? How does he explain it in law school? What does he say over there? Then it's the Torah requires us to count both days and weeks between Pesach and Shavuos. Yeah. Uh, the second day, you say seven days or one week, because it's an obligatory, obligatory to count the weeks. We are justified in using that yeah. between Shavuos and Rosh Chodesh to teach the period of Shavuos and the Balkans last the week. One week. saying it. There's a mitzvah to count 50 days and there's a count weeks. So I think what it says, the question was, but it, after the fifth, it's, it's a day after the week, a month, right? Rosh Chodesh is part of the month, right? But here it says seven weeks you should count and the 50th day. So the 50th day is not, not related to the seven weeks, right. but he's saying, but since there's a mitzvah to count days in addition to weeks, so we treat the day Torah is associating the day with the week. Right. So we give the day the same status as the week. So although Shavuos is one day, but because it's associated with the seven weeks, we treat the 50th as one day of a week. <coughs> meaning that the next six days, you're able to bring the Tashlum in. That's what the Gemara is saying. Yeah. So to extend the period really to eight weeks? That, that's, no, but it, the, the sphere is over. But we treat the 50th day as if it's an, ad, it's an additional week. Because even the seven de- weeks are counting days in addition to weeks. Right? There's, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a corresponding counting to the weeks. You're counting days and you're counting weeks. So when you count 50, you take the week into the 50. The 50 also has a level of association to week. In what context, in what regard? You know, there's no mix of count any longer in regard to Tashlumim that if you don't bring what you're supposed to bring on the 50th, you're able to bring it for six more days beyond the... beyond Shavuos. Is the principle you mentioned before, the things you mentioned in one answer, is that why you count both weeks and days? Yes, 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 yes. It says both days and weeks, so that's why we count both days and weeks. They're balanced. The old... See, this, this is terrific. The old Chak Shavuos Ksiv. What is that terrorist called? At Sarah's is called Chaka Shwarz. Shwarz then I it's one day. So what is right? Shwarz is the fiftieth day. But yet we call it's called Chag Hashivuos. How could we it's it's the festival of the weeks? The ter- Torah is telling you, even though it's one day, you see it like a week. It's like a week like all the other weeks are weeks. How could it be a week? In what context is a week? The answer is for Tashlomi. Of course you can make it up, you treat it as if it continues for another six days. Regarding 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 Tashlumi, right? This is this is phenomenal. This is not heckish. It's just from the reference of, of the fiftieth day as Chag Hashluos. You see the one day like a week. In what, what context? This is a week. The answer is for Tashlumi. Yeah, and you could ask you could, you could ask you this question. What do you answer? How could it be called Chag It's the fifth. It's one day. Terence says no. It's seven days. How could, but it's one day. The answer is no, because it's Tashlumi. So it's Chag HaShavuos. It has a, a similarity to the weeks that preceded it. That's what's referred to. Poetry from Chag HaShavuos, it culminates the weeks. That's the simple one to say Chag HaShavuos. Otherwise, it's Kasha. What is that for Chag HaShavuos? It's not a week. It's not a week. It's a day. You say the primary. It's a day. Right? Then it says, the 50th day, Yom Chabishi. So that's primary. So it's the 50th. So, so what, 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 what is it? It's one day. But that's the unit. It's the importance of Hashivas. is the day. The one day. So the day and the week will be equated. But the day is the unit of counting. Yeah, but that's not the Vyod. The Vyod is not. The way, without the Mars Vyod, it means why is Shuas called Chagash Shuas? Because the weeks culminate with the 50th. 
right? But in order to get to that 50, I need a, a unit. I need, I need six, I need seven weeks. Oh, I need a unit. Of seven, at a marshal, because seven weeks gives me the 49. But Through 49. Right, but the 50 is, is a unit for one day. Not a unit. A day is not a unit. No, a single unit. A single a day. One day. Yeah, but you, you, don't, you, don't leave, you don't say simple. If you learn the parsha, why is Shavuos called Shavuos if it's one day? The answer is because the, the seven weeks culminate with the 50th day. That's why it's called Shavuos. Right? That's simply. How do you learn it always? Without the Gemara. Before you learn the Gemara, Rosh Hashanah. That, why is Shavuos called Chag HaShavuos? What you say, weeks. So it, it's, it's a day. It's not weeks. How do we get that we have seven weeks? And within the seven weeks, we have days. Not within. That is a week is seven days. So what does that do with the 50? So in order to get to 50, I need 7 times 7. So that's what I'm saying. Plus 1. So the, because it culminates. Right. The fi- counting of 50, what follows? Right. 50. But the Gemara is saying differently. It's called Chag HaShvos is because it has a similarity to the others. It also has realms to 7. What realms does it have to 7? Tashlumim. Seven. Right. Hoshet. Oh, sure. so another reason that we call it. That's what it's saying. This is the reason. Was it Tashlumim? There's the whole question. When you say Tachlum, there's the whole question. Isu Chag, we never say Tachlum. Right? But there's, there's, a, there's a custom that wasn't, doesn't, one doesn't say Tachlum for six days. Six days following Shavuos. But since every day you're able to bring the Korban, so it's still Yom Tif. It's still Yom Tif. It's Tashlumim. And there's even the question, even on the eighth day, because now the eighth day is Isu Chag. You got seven days is Yom Tif, was Tashlumim. Now the day following Yom Tif is what? Is this Shulchan? So one doesn't say Tachlum for seven days after Shulchan. For that reason. Is that a common practice? It's a different, different thing. But Hasidim for sure it's eight days. The whole thing. Eight days uh, not saying Tachlum. Well, the first day you don't say for sure. Right. Day after Shulchan for sure not says Shulchan. The question is now what follows? Is it only six days after Shulchan or it's even seven days after Shulchan? That's the question. Everybody wants to the real Mitzvah, the day after Yisrochag, you say Tachlum. It's the real, you know, Islam. Unless this is your son, it's the real. I mean, it's the Islam. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tachlum was Ksiv. So now the Gemara is the Korish Tais. It listed what has relevance to Baal Ta'achir, the Dorim, Chatos, it says Ashomos, Chatos, Ashamos, Olos, Maser, Masos, Bechor, or Maser, or Pesach. So not Bechor, you don't bring the Bechor, three of them are in violation. Pesach, you don't bring the Pesach on your Dalit. Right? Once your Dalit passes, it's over. Over is Manu Batul Korbono. You can't bring the Pesach, it's gone. Right? That's the question I ask. Mm-hmm. Mario asked the question. That's if you could and you didn't, not if you couldn't do it. Let me pay some shame, but not for your gold, for sure not. Maximum month. A month, that's all we have. Till next month. Or Pesach. Pesach's month. Kviel? Zim the Kviel leg. I akre, akre, lo akre ve, itchile. Finish, it's over. Right? No, it says bal ta'achel shalmo. And what is about Ta'acher? Three were going. Has no relevance to three were going. Om Rav Chizda Pesach Gidei Nazba. It's just thrown in. Gidei Nazba, we mentioned, go on to say mention Pesach. Really, it's not. It has no relevance to it. Rav Shishoma, my Pesach, Shalmei Pesach. Right? Shalmei. Yeah. Halochis, you're supposed to eat Pesach ala soba. Right? You only have to eat a Kzayis of Pesach. Let's see, have the group, maximum each person gets a Kzayis. But you're supposed to eat the Korb Pesach ala soba. So how do you know in, in a sated state? Right? Yeah. It's not Fikoma. That's what we eat the Fikoma at the end of the meal. That's for the, that's for the Korb Pesach. Correct? The Chagiga. You're eating the Chagiga. Not the Chagiga. Not the Chagiga. Shalbe Pesach. The Gemara says in Pesachim, normally Shlomim, Shalbe Simcha abroad on Yom Tif. Right. When do you bring Shalbe Simcha? There's a mitzvah to eat sacrificial meat throughout Yom Tif. So how do you have it? You have to be makish of shlamin. That you have kochim, meat of kochim, to eat on Pesach. What is that? Shalmei simcha. 
Shalmi Simcha is normally when do you bring your uh, carbons when we were on the Yom Tif. Shalmi Pesach is brought before Yom Tif. That means you don't usually sh- let's say let's say it's Sukkot. Let's say it's Sukkot. Every day you're supposed to eat kosher meat, right? So you have Shalmi Simcha. You bring Shlomim to be able to eat the sacrificial meat. So when do you slaughter? You slaughter at the first day Yom Tif in the morning. That's Shalmi. No Yom Tif. But if you have to eat the Korban Pesach a la Sova and eat it a la Sova based on Shalmi Pesach so you slaughter the Korban Pesach the Shalmi Pesach before Yom Tif before Yom Tif and then you eat it and then you're pretty full and then you finalize it with the, with the size of Korban Pesach right? which is not the Korban Pesach no it's not it's, it's the Shlomim to accommodate Korban Pesach and that's on Pesach itself that's on Pesach but you, that's when you eat it the consumption, Korb Pesach, when do you slaughter? On the 14th. And you eat it on the 15th. Same thing, Shami Simcha slaughtered on the 14th. You eat the meal, the bulk of the meat is Shami Simcha. And then you eat Shami Pesach, and then you eat Korb Pesach, the Kazai. Just a simple question. If you're supposed to consume it within two and a half days, what do you do later on? You continue eating it. But you have to finish it in two and a half days. So you do finish it. Five people. You can't finish. So you get other people to join. We know, but what do you do on day three or four? Five. No, you, you burn it. If you have anything left over, you have to burn it. That's no sir. I mean, how do you continue with your country? You, you have to bring another car. Bring it. You have to bring another. You have to bring another car. So actually, you have to bring several. Yeah, or other people bring. You can have a chair. You know, I bring. You bring. We will work it out. You know, I'll bring the first day. Two and a half days. We will, we will share. Then you bring. Then I share in yours. And that's how we carry throughout the yom. Right, just have to be your korban. Okay? So what happens if he consecrates the Shalmi Pesach? Then it goes lost. Goes lost, and now he finds it. After first day Pesach, he finds it. So this sh- it's a regular Shlomim. Because he, he has three Regolim to bring it. If he doesn't bring it, what happens? He's in violation of al So it says Pesach, it means Shalmi Pesach. The Shlomim that was meant to be slaughtered to accommodate the Pesach, and he never slaughtered it. Because it went lost, now he locates it. Yes, we were going to bring it. That's Pesach. So Pesach means Shalmi Pesach. Rashi says, "Mishlo korav bismano sheovad." It went lost. Niskapir be'acher who nasa shlom kinafkum tzochim also shlomi yichron gimel duvolim over. So if he delays not bring for three gomim, he's in violation. So Rashi says, "Yochi shlomim." So he says, "But it already says shlomim." It says, "Chatos osham shlomi ola b'shlomim." It says that. So what does he have to mention shlomim twice? Does it really make difference? The regular shlom shalmi pesach, tana shlom ebo machmas pesach, tana shlom ebo machmas atzman. Why? So good that the chamina whole machmas pesach kosu ke pesach. Domu since it was only consecrated to come to come pesach, it should assume its status, and we should say what? Uberegel rishon yabra leyen, and you should not be. You should be a violation if one regel passes, right? Kamash balon that we say no. You have three regalim. To be continued.